everybody, how are you? It is the hottest day of the year, I think. It is so hot. Happy Monday, it's making it Monday. I'm here again to show you some really awesome recipes that you can make at home yourself that can totally change the way you operate on a day-to-day -day basis. So, I'm excited to share with you two recipes that I super duper love. The first one is in lieu of my uh, mosquito bites, okay? So I think I have some mosquito bites laying around. And so because I have these mosquito bites, I think it's a good idea to teach you how you can make an itch relief roller that not only will be good for you, but for your family, for your kids, for everybody. And how nice is it to give your kid a roller and wherever they're itchy, you could just say roll it, roll it on that itch. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you how to make the not so athletic foot powder. I don't know about you, but my man works in the heat, okay? So when he comes home, he has stinky feet. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. So not only that, you know, when you're wearing like a boot or a shoe, especially if you, you have to wear a closed shoe in the summer months, it's not even about the smell. It's just about your foot is not breathing and that sweat and that heat is not doing your feet justice, right? So how would it be, how nice would it be to give your husband or yourself a product that you can make at home that's going to be so effective, so great, works amazing, smells fantastic, and has no yuck, right? We don't want any of that yuck, okay? So um, before I get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Kathy DiRaneri. I am a Silver Leader with Young Living Essential Oils, and I am excited to teach you guys each and every Monday this summer how to make simple do-it-yourself fun things at home that are easy peasy, quick and easy, okay? So, hello, I don't know who's watching, but hello and thank you for joining. Hi, Marwa. So, before I get started, I want you to know that everything that I make here, this do-it-yourself that I make myself, if you like my page, if you share this broadcast, you will be eligible to win what I make. You get to have it sent home. I'll send you a DM and I'll get your address and I'll mail it to you. It's all yours for the taking. So how super is that? All right, so let's get started. And then I'm going to end this with a couple of reminders. A couple of reminders. So the first thing we're going to make is the itch relief because it's so important, right? I don't know about you, but I was at a, I was upstate this weekend and, you know, the bug repellent worked pretty good. It did. It worked really good, actually. But you know what? I didn't get all the spots. I didn't do it all over and I was a little bit lax with myself. And because I was lax, what happened was, hey, Michelle, are you still in England? <laughs> are you still in England? I need to know. I need to know what's going on with you. Okay. So because I was lax, I did get little bites here and there. You're in London. When is your appointment? I need to know. When is your appointment so I could pray on it for you? I need to know. Or did it happen? And we are excited. We're celebrating. I don't know. All right. So I'm just going to check my Dreamcatcher page to see if I'm live in there, which I think I am. Okay. Yes, I am. All right. Good, good, good. All right. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to make is an itch relief, which is super duper easy. Oh, shucks. I forgot something. Bear with me one minute. interview for green card tomorrow oh my god all right totally going to meditate on that tonight and tomorrow do a little praying for you you got this girlfriend you got this I know you do I'm excited for you super duper from the bottom of my heart excited for you okay so I digress my friend Michelle is on love her and she's in London and she's gonna get her green card and she's gonna come back to us and get married and live like a normal person <laughs> all right okay so let's get started. Okay, itch relief. The first thing you need is lavender. So what I did is, you know what, I grabbed my premium starter kit because most of the stuff that I need for itch relief, I'm gonna find right in my kit. So if you guys have a premium starter kit, just grab it because your itch relief roll-on is right here for you. You don't have to go very, very far. You're welcome, Michelle, you're really welcome. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab the lavender, which is in here, okay? And you need four drops of lavender. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. This is like 
like the easiest recipe, guys. Like, ridiculous. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is four drops of frankincense. Again, you have your premium starter kit. Grab it, guys. Grab it. Start using it. Don't let it sit and collect dust. It's not helping you. Your kids are coming in with mosquito bites, right? Or they're coming in and they have too much sun on their skin. Or they're really crabby because they've been in the water all day and they're just in a miserable mood. You got a kit. Use it. Take it out. Use it. Okay. I digress. Sorry. Frankincense. You need two drops of frankincense. One, two. Two drops of frankincense. Two drops of peppermint. Again, in your kit, grab your peppermint. Two drops of peppermint. Two. Okay. Now, one drop of lemon. Again, lemons in your kit, guys. Lemons in your kit. Grab your lemon. Okay. One drop of lemon. All right. Now, let's say I'm going to add a couple of other oils in there, but let's say this is all you have is the premium starter kit. Then, what I'm going to tell you to do is do 10 of lavender, 10 of peppermint, 10 of lemon, and 10 of frankincense. Do all four. If lemon's too strong, just put five. Do five lemon and then 10 of the rest, and then top it off with um, a V6 coconut oil, um, olive oil, whatever, uh, whatever good uh, carrier oil you have at home. But for my recipe, it's four of lavender, two of frankincense, two of peppermint, one of lemon, then we're gonna grab um, purification. I do five drops of purification. Purification is no longer in the premium starter kit, but we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, okay? Five of purification, and then we need tea tree. Tea tree, so if you have tea tree, grab your tea tree, and you're gonna add a drop of tea tree. One drop. That's it. All right, so again, if you have tea tree and if you have purification, four drops of lavender, two drops of frankincense, two drops of peppermint, one drop of tea tree, one drop of lemon, five drops of purification. If you don't have purification, if you don't have tea tree, do 10 drops of the ones you have in the kit, Take lemon and do half because it is pretty strong, okay? Especially if you're going to be out in the sun anyway. So I would just do five. Okay, now this is, this is it, right? You're going to take your B6 or your fractionated coconut oil or your olive oil or your grapeseed oil or your sunflower seed oil or whatever good carrot oil you have and you're going to top it off. There you go. You top it off, you put the roller. Hello, Anne, nice to see you, okay? You're going to shake it up really well. You're gonna grab a sticker, and I put Itch No More on my sticker. I'm gonna throw that right on here, and there you go. So now, wherever it's itching, which is everywhere, <laughs> right? You're just gonna roll it on, and it smells really good, guys. Oh, you're welcome. And it smells really good. So this is really great. Throw it in your beach bag if you're going to the country, wherever you're going. Make sure you uh, take this with you because, you know, you're going to get bit. It's a guarantee. <laughs> All right. So quick, quick, quick with that. The next thing that I'm going to make is something a little bit more, um, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. So I'm going to make what's called the not so athletic foot powder. Now, the reason why I like to make foot powder is because I don't like talic. And talic is in a lot of the foot powders that you would buy over the counter. And um, talic is really, really bad for you. Besides it being a hormone, hormone disruptor, it can really wreak such damage to your body for so many, so many different ways. I'm trying to see if I could find something on talic here for you. Yeah, talic. It's a clay mineral. When crushed into powder, it's known as talic powder. Tal tal talcum powder, okay? Why do we hate it? It's linked to ovarian cancer. It, carry, it carries a 60% increased risk 
when used in the genital area and a 90% increased risk when used as a feminine deodorant product. You find this in cosmetics, baby powder, feminine powder fragrances. You find this in foot powder. It's big in foot powder. You'll find this in Gold Bond, right? How many of you guys use Gold Bond? Or you men use Gold Bond, right? So for chafing or for your foot, this is a great recipe. So it's simple, super duper. The first thing you need is cornstarch. Okay, so you're gonna grab good old fashioned cornstarch, guys. Everybody who has cornstarch. If you're a baker, you got cornstarch in your cupboard. Grab it. Get a cup, a measuring cup. Let's say you believe we're baking a cake, all right? So we're gonna do one cup of cornstarch. There you go, one cup. I'm putting it in a glass bowl. Try to keep everything in glass. I don't like using plastic. All right, so we got the one cup of cornstarch. Let's put that to the side. Then we need a quarter cup of baking soda. Again, if you're a baker, you have baking soda. I don't know anyone who doesn't bake. And if you don't bake, get to the supermarket and get some cornstarch and baking soda. And guess where you're gonna find it? In the baking aisle. <laughs> it's that easy, all right? So a quarter cup of baking soda. All right, let's get that in there. And you know, I don't go crazy. ShopRite brand works fine by me, all right? We're keeping this as inexpensive as possible. All right, so we got the two, and we're just gonna mix them together. All right. And today's a perfect day for this, guys. It's so hot in New York, it's ridiculous, it's 90 degrees. Okay, now we're going to add the essential oils. And I'm going to say that, um, where is it? Melaleuca is one of the oils in this recipe. I don't have Melaleuca, however, I have Kunzia, which is the brand new essential oil that came out this year at convention that is the lighter, sweeter scent of Melaleuca. So if you don't have Melaleuca but you have this, great. If you have Melaleuca, use Melaleuca. So I'm going to add 15 drops of this. Ooh, this spout is no good. All right, so we got 15 drops of this, yikes. Did you see that? It was just pouring out like water. That's dangerous, too expensive for that. So we're gonna add 15 drops of that. We're going to add 10 drops of thieves. Thieves, let me grab my thieves. Okay, 10 drops. One, two. 10 drops of thieves. We're going to add five drops of bergamot or bergamot. I don't know, how do you pronounce that? Bergamot or bergamot? But this is how it is read, okay? So we're gonna add five drops of that. Okay, five of that. And I keep stirring it so you see that I'm just mixing it up. We're going to add two drops of cedar wood. I'm gonna show you at the end what I'm looking at, what I'm looking at to get this recipe so that I can share with you how you can get these recipes as well. Okay, so two drops of cedar wood. Two drops of tea tree. Okay, I know a lot of you say, well, if you, have melalu if you don't have melaleuca, use tea tree. This recipe is requiring melaleuca and tea tree. So what I say is if you have the kunzia, great. If you don't have the melaleuca, you just have the tea tree, just don't put that one in. Or add a few more drops of tea tree. But for this case, I'm gonna do three. Three drops of the tea tree and five drops of wintergreen. All righty. Okay, and we mix it all up really well. We're going to combine and shake well, apply to the mother of the feet once a day or as needed. Now, I'm going to show you different ways of storage so you know. Again, if you don't have melaleuca, and instead of putting three drops of tea tree, you're going to put 18 drops of tea tree, if that makes any sense, okay? Um, I have these from my daughter's bridal shower. They're left over. They're really pretty, so I'm going to use this to hold on to my foot powder. If you have glass jars, 
Glass jars are great. Old leftover jelly jars, sauce jars, whatever. Wash them, save them. Pickle jars, whatever you have, use them. Recycle. Do not throw out your glass jars. Not if you're an oiler like me. Do not ever. And what you're going to do is literally fill up the jar as such, okay? And I'm not gonna bore you with that now. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you with that now. But you fill it up, then you're going to grab a label. It says foot powder. Wow, what a shocker, okay? Foot powder. So, I just made foot powder, which you can just sprinkle on your hand, put it at the bottom of your feet, maybe put a few drops if you're wearing a closed shoe with no stockings or no socks, or maybe you wanna put it on before you put socks on. This, this heat really weaves wrap, you know, is really, really tough on your feet. And remember guys, this isn't just good for your feet, although it's called a foot powder. If those of you who are more busty women, you know underneath your bust when it's warm and hot out and sweaty, sometimes you break out, right? Because the heat and the sweat is trapped in there and it's rubbing together. Put some of this, this powder underneath your breasts before you get dressed. Or maybe if you have that chub rub, right? How many of you have chub rub? So you hate going out in the summertime and you wear those uh, jeans or you wear something long, but you're dying of the heat. You want to wear a dress. You want to wear something fresh. Put the powder between your where the chub rub is and, and it will keep your legs dry, absorbed. You'll smell great and it'll do its job. Hey, Lisa. All right, so I made those two recipes. So make sure that you write, the, watch this again, write down the recipe. Do me a favor, if you like this information, if you think it's valuable, if you want this sent to your house, then like my page, share my recipe, and I'll be sure to pick a winner, and Haley, and then I will send it to you. You will get it as a gift from me to you to say thank you. Uh, before I end this broadcast, one last thing I want to cover is, oh wait, before I even say that, you guys, what did I do with my recipe thing? Hold on. Hmm. Bear with me, I don't even know what I did with it. All right, oh here it is. Okay, so two things before I say goodnight. The first thing is, where do I get these recipes? How can you get these recipes? Um, really easy. I'm a big fan of Melissa Pepping. Melissa Pepping just came out with a couple of new do-it-yourself books. So if you're in the Young Living Oiler, or if you want to be a Young Living Oiler, and you follow me and you're on my team, definitely, definitely grab these books because they are beautifully illustrated. They have amazing recipes, easy to follow, easy to understand, and it highlights why you want to change your lifestyle. It gives you a description of the different chemicals that are and the ingredients we use day to day and how they impact our lives and our body and our health overall. So she has a great one for face and body, she has one for housekeeping, and she has one for babies. I don't have the baby one to show you because I don't. <laughs> and um, it looks like this, I'll show you. So you would have a little bit of the, the chemical information and then all the different recipes and just a little bit. I mean, she does such a beautiful job with these books. So they're wonderfully bound. They keep well. Get yourself a copy and uh, make your own do-it-yourself stuff because it's pretty easy. So I'm just showing you. Okay, so now you know my secret, where I get my recipes from. And the last thing I want to share with you before I have to walk my door because it's already late is I have a couple of events happening this month. Super amazing events. If you guys received a text message from me um, and you haven't replied and you want to come to these classes, keep in mind this is the time. Start responding. We have a lot of great stuff. This Friday night, this Friday night is super cool. Who is coming to my boat? I have a beautiful yacht in Brooklyn. It's gorgeous, right? Every Friday night we watch the sun go down, we sip champagne, and then from Breezy we could see the fireworks. So I'm having a summer edition, essentially sharing. We're going to learn about some of the summer products, the, some of the products you could use of Young Living for summertime. So totally come to the marina. Come say hi, have a cocktail, listen to my spiel for 20 minutes. 
let's watch the sun go down, have a couple of laughs, and watch the fireworks. Walk down the dock and watch the fireworks. So that's going to be this Friday night, 7 p.m. sharp. So if you're interested in coming, you have to RSVP by tomorrow. I need a head count because everybody's going home with a bug repellent. But if you don't give, you don't tell me you're coming and you show up, you're not getting a bug repellent because I won't have enough to give you. All right, so I need an RSVP for that. Uh, Tuesday night, I already have a couple of yeses. Who's coming to spa night? Spa night coming up. We're going to do facials. We're going to totally pamper ourselves. So um, for those of you that want to come to spa night, RSVP is 720. And that's next Tuesday, 724, 7 p.m. in Floral Park. So definitely if you're interested in pampering yourself on a Tuesday night, again, we make Ningxia Mimosas. We put some creams on our face, we do toner, we moisturize, we talk about a lot of fun things, we have a lot of laughs, and you go home feeling refreshed and night-night. All right, and then of course, my most exciting event ever. You guys have to come to this, because this one is the best one, and this one is designing your niche perfume, right? We're going to be crafting couture perfumes. That's next Friday night. Uh, no, next Thursday night, I apologize, next Thursday night, 726, I need an RSVP by 722 at 7 p.m. Keep in mind, I will be having all the essential, and not the essential oils, I will be having all the essential oils, I will have all the perfume bottles, I will have all the recipes and all the ingredients for the recipes. You will literally go home with your own designed perfume with the recipes I have. These are couture perfumes. This is like Coco Chanel, okay? This is no joke. This is the real thing, guys. If you wanna to come to this event, I would love to have you. It's gonna be a really great class. It's not even a class, it's just a fun way of getting together and making some perfume for ourselves. This class does have a cover of $15. I don't make a profit on this. The 15 is just kind of a number I came up with to cover the cost of the oils, the bottles, and the labels for the bottles. So. Um, basically, I'm not making anything, but where are you going to get a couture perfume for 15 bucks? All right? So again, please, 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 if you're interested in coming to this class, you have to let me know because I have to make sure I have everything I need for you guys. So your response is really, really, really important to me. All right, enough. I had a great time showing you these two little recipes. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you implement them. And I hope you like my page and share this out. Have a great Monday, everybody. Love you all. And I will see you next Monday with some more do-it-yourselves. Ciao.